Because we're from a company called Karkana Learning Labs uh, that concerns itself with how do you teach young kids uh, problem solving through technology. And you know, living and working out of Nepal, one of the least developed countries in the world, uh, we really sort of take to heart uh, cyberpunk author William Gibson's uh, idea that the future is already here, it's just unevenly distributed. How do we teach the concept of programming and logic and sensors to 9, 10, 11 year old children? How do we teach this to them without having to teach them any programming? And the way we've done that is by creating an interface where you can string together rules of logic. Right? And you can do this without writing any code. We have these rules over here that you can create. It says, if you see an obstacle, go back. And if you don't see an obstacle, go forward. For example, back on obstacle, it just says, if the distance is less than 14, and that would be in centimeters, right? Then you can do a number of things. In this case, we've just told it to go backwards for one second. But we could also tell it, go forward, turn left, make a sharp left, stop. Okay. So how do we communicate to kids that, that uh, it's difficult to control these things over planetary distances? So what we've allowed for is you can say, okay, uh, I'm controlling this from Nepal, but the rover is actually in the moon, right? That means you would have a one second, 28 millisecond delay for the rover to respond. Okay, to keep our cost low, we have used Clona Fardino, which we can fabricate here. We are, and we have almost done our programming in the Arduino side. Memory was a big problem. Mm. We created a system to find out how much free memory is in Arduino and we stops new rules from being created if the memory is full. And the total cost of this unit right now is probably about 7,500 rupees, so it's less than $100. Winning the hackathon was great, um, but that was really just icing on the cake. The fun part was actually thinking this up and building it. And what's even more exciting for us is a uh, is the next step, uh, building a curriculum, uh, taking it into the classroom, and, and having fun with the kids while teaching them something um, that will be incredibly valuable to them for the rest of their lives.